Hey everyone, PTL here. I am back on the Yellow Trail at Sleeping Giant. This is the one my wife and I did not too long ago. Uh, my plans today are to hike up to where those stairs are. And then I'm gonna do the stairs. I'm hoping to do them 10 times, we'll see how it goes. I figure there's 600 steps, 604 steps on, at Amicalola Falls. And there's 60 something steps here. So if I do them 10 times, again, it's not the same going straight up because I got to come up and then down, do 60. And there's two sets of steps, 40, then a little hike and uh, 20. So I'm gonna work on doing steps today. Praise the Lord. I forgot to show you too. I am using my gaiters today. So I put Velcro on the back of the shoes. Got them clipped up in the front. That'll keep the snow and ice out as well as on the trail. On the nicer weather, keep the sticks and rocks out. So using those for the first time. So I just changed out my gear a little bit. I, uh, I had a heavy winter work jacket on. And my warm orange hat. And it was just too much. After starting to hike a little bit, I'm heating up pretty good. It's probably uh, low to mid 30s right now in the morning. As you can see, there's a lot of ice on the trail. And I have the micro spikes with me. But after testing them out, knowing they work really well, I wanted to hike without them and compare the difference. Wow, what a difference. They, uh, I've been slipping and sliding all over the trail without them. So there is a big difference hiking with micro spikes on the ice and just your hiking shoes. Again, the ice is, there's a lot of it here. Uh, it's definitely walkable without the micro spikes, but it is much easier with them. Again, I've slipped many times already. And the other day when I hiked with them in the ice, I didn't slip once. So I actually, right there, I just slipped. My foot went sliding back. Well, moving on. Took my jacket off, my hat off. Because even in the 30s, you heat up when you're hiking. Praise the Lord. <laughs> I've made it to the stairs going up the first set I won't bore you with doing it ten times but I'll give you the first first group I counted 41 steps there. And then I go up and around until I hit the next grouping. Even without the steps right here is a good workout going up. Here's the second group, and here I go. Uh, 
67 steps. So I'm gonna go back and do that nine more times. Nice views up here. And the trail continues up that way. All right, going back down. All right, so I just completed my sixth climb up the stairs. Figure I'll take you down on this one. Four more to go after this. This is a good workout, I'm sweating. Whew, gotta be careful in here, there's ice. And because I'm holding the camera, I don't have my pole. Whoa, that was close. This was a good idea. This is a real good workout coming up here and doing these steps. If I can get 10 runs in, that's 670 steps. And again, Amicalola is 604 steps. the second step 41 steps in this group 26 in the top group and heading back up for my seventh run And as you can see, I am sweating. I took my hat off, took my jacket off, and I am sweating big time. Going back up, praise the Lord. Okay, so I completed my 10 times going up and down the steps and now I'm gonna hike out hopefully I don't slip on the ice but uh, it wasn't too bad I'm pretty confident I can do the stairs at Amicalola Falls did sweat a lot so I decided to put my hat back on for the hike out got a short hike out once again it was a good workout Yesterday I did two or 380 
step lunges, as well as my uh, stretching and exercise routine. And today I did 670 steps after a little hike in. Very good. I'm pleased with that. Probably come back before I do the trail and do this one again. I like that. All right. Praise the Lord. All right. I'm back to the parking lot. Truck's over there on the main trail. I probably post these, I don't know, a week, week or two after I film them. Just because I'm trying to spread them out. So, January 23rd, nice day, beautiful morning, and good exercise. Praise the Lord.